Hello friends, welcome again to another session on Gems of Geometry. In this uh, session we are going to tackle another theorem which suggests or which says rather uh, that tangent square, right? So square of a tangent, in this case PT is the tangent at uh, point T to the circle with the center O, right? So this is the tangent PT. Now square of PT is equal to PA into PA dash. What is PA PA dash? So A A dash is the chord, and we have produced A A dash towards one side. So this is the point P from where PT has been drawn as a tangent to the circle. Okay, so if that is this is the diagram, then PT squared will be equal to PA and PA dash. So what I've done here is I have calculated, I have first of all drawn, a, you know, the entire diagram with uh, two scale actually. So it's a GeoGebra software where I have drawn the circle, I've drawn the uh, tangent and the chord A A dash and produced it to point P. And we have also joined uh, P O and produced it to cut the circle at B dash and B. So B and B dash, so B and B dash is the so if I see uh, B is point this point yeah so B and B dash uh, is that B B dash is a diameter okay so P B B dash okay so I hope the construction is clear so P T is the tangent A A dash is the chord B B dash is the diameter all of them produced together on one side are meeting at point P okay and now uh, let's verify whether this particular relationship actually holds. So what I have done is I have calculated PT square. Then I've also calculated PA into PA dash. And I have also calculated PB into PB dash. So let's verify whether this particular relationship is valid. So I'm going to move the point A dash in such a way all the other points move relative to point A dash. So that different different scenarios are built and see whether these values are same. So please focus on these three values. Here right now it is 85.3, 85.3, 85.3. 3. Let's try and move the point A dash. So I am moving point A dash. And you can see wherever I stop, the values, all the three values are same. Is it it? So looks like it is valid so far. Right? So hence I am moving point A through the diagram. And you can see the values are not changing. They are all same at any point. Okay, at any point. Now I've shifted over to the other side. See, in any case, if you see, the values are the same. Are the same. Okay. So this is what this theorem is talking, you know, uh, telling us. Now I've also marked two angles here. If you see alpha, which is PTA and p a dash t both are also equal why why is this because we have learned a theorem that the angle made between the tangent and the chord at the point of tangency that is angle p t a is the angle made by the tangent p t and a t chord will be equal to the angle subtended by the chord a t on the other side of the circle Right, so AT should not make an angle on this this side of, you know, uh, the circle. It should be on the other side. In uh, other than, you know, the other side means other to what? Other to the tangent. So the angle made by the chord AT must not be in the same side with the tangent. It should be on the other side. So if you see the, the angle made by the chord AT on the other side of the tangent PT is A A dash T, and hence it will always be same. So can you can you see that so as i'm changing the position of a dash the value of alpha and beta remain the same okay so this is what we observed now let's see the proof so hence consider triangle pat so p a and t and also consider pt a dash so p t a dash okay so the moment uh, we see such kind of a relationship where segments are being multiplied uh, we kind of get a hint that it must be related to similarity of triangles so the moment i choose these two triangles once again which two triangles p t a and p a dash t okay 
Now, if you see in both these triangles, angle P is common. Which P? So T P A is the angle in triangle P A T, and A dash P T is the angle in P A dash T triangle. Right. So this this angle here is common to both the triangles. Now the other two angles are same anyway. So P T A is equal to P A dash T, which we have already you know observed. Why is that? Because angle made by angle made between the chord and the tangent at the point of tangency is equal to angle subtended by the chord on the other side of the circle. Right. So by these two angles, if these two angles are equal, then the given two triangles, that is P A T and P T A dash, once again P A T, this one, the smaller one here, and P T A dash, this triangle, this bigger one here, this P T A dash are both similar. And if they are similar, then I can equate their corresponding side ratios. Okay. So let's say consider these. So this is the Thing P A T is uh, is uh, similar to P T A dash. So if I write P T on the left hand side, then the corresponding side to P T will be P A dash. So I've written that right. So P T upon P A dash. And on the other side, if P T is this side here, then the corresponding side to P T is P A. So that means P T by P A dash is equal to P A by P T. Right by Similar parts of similar triangle are similar sides, or uh, rather, sides of two similar uh, triangles are proportional. So, by this logic, if I cross multiply, I'll get PT square is equal to PA times PA dash, and that is what we intended to prove. So, this is what the proof is for this particular theorem. So, that once again, any tangent PT squared will be nothing but equal to PA times p a dash where a a dash is a chord now if you notice b b dash is also a chord though it's a diameter so diameter is the largest chord so hence it will work with diameters as well so hence p t square will be also equal to p b into p b dash right so that's what we saw it here okay so i hope you understood this theorem